Hi, it's Danny from Thomas Rogers Support. I just want to take you through setting up our new theme Hyger for WordPress. Uh, as you can see, we've just got a basic um, blank WordPress install we're working with. And just to begin with, we're going to head into the admin area and upload the theme. Uh, to do this, um, we're just going to use the method provided by WordPress, which is uh, just under Appearance and Themes. And if we click Add New and Upload, uh, what all you need to do is basically locate the file, uh, the zip file within the package you downloaded. Um, I've just got the theme here. I'm just going to install that. Now, depending on the size, uh, the speed of your uh, connection and server, uh, this can take a few moments. Um, we're working locally here, so this uh, is pretty instant, as you can see. Uh, now that's installed, we're just going to activate it. And just to begin with, before we do anything else, let's take a look at the front end of the site and see what's changed. Okay, so we've got the, uh, you can see that generally the style of the site has changed, but there's very little else going on in there. And the reason for that, we haven't actually imported any of the demo content and set up the plugins yet, uh, but we're going to go and do that now. So if we head back into the admin area, you can see we've got a little notification up here telling us that we uh, we need to do a few things. We need to install a couple of plugins. Um, these are required to actually make the theme sort of operate the way you'd expect. And um, we've got uh, some recommended plugins, which um, obviously for contact forms, the not really great slider, and uh, if you want to set up a shop. All right. So just to begin with, we're just going to hit the link. And what we use uh, is a script which allows us to install all of these in one go. Uh, to do that, just simply tick this box at the top of the column here. Uh, this is just to to tick all the items. Uh, from the drop-down menu, we can choose Install. And if we hit Apply, uh, it'll basically go through one by one, just downloading and installing each plugin. Uh, it does give you feedback each step of the way as well. Um, so as you can see, when each plugin has been installed, you can simply just wait for the prompt here. I'm going to leave this record while this happens, but again, very much like the theme. If you uh, if you have a slow connection or your server is a bit slow, this can take a few moments. Just be patient. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the plugins installed. We can see we've got a little notification here saying that everything's been successful. Um, let's return to the dashboard and see what's different back here. Okay, so the first thing, uh, it seems we've installed WooCommerce, um, the new setup page, which uh, I think is quite intrusive, but there we are. Um, that will pop up just to, to offer to set it all up for you. At this point in time, we're not really interested in that. We're just going to get the uh, the demo data all set up, so we'll skip past there. Um, you can see here on the left main column, there's now an awful lot more options. We've got various post types for use in the theme, uh, portfolio team, etc. And if we look at the front of the site, just so you can know what to expect. Okay, so as we can see on the front of the site, very little has changed. Uh, we've just set up the groundwork to actually import the demo data now so we've got all the relevant plugins and everything needed okay so to import the demo data we head to the theme options uh, which can be found in appearance and customize uh, we have added uh, a really nice system which allows you to import the demo data in a single click um, you can see here right at the very top section I've got the import demo data here and uh, basically there's a bit of blurb telling us that we need to make sure we've, we've installed the plugins which we have and this process itself can take a few minutes. Um, certainly on a slower server, you could be looking anywhere up into half an hour. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to pause the video while it takes place, but uh, just to show you what happens when you hit this button. We've got a little pop-up appearing here, just asking us to make sure we've installed all the plugins which we have. If you're following along with this video and you haven't yet done so, then please skip back and install all the plugins first. Uh, we're good to go, so I'm going to hit OK and pause the recording while the data imports. 
Okay, so a few minutes have passed, and as you can see, the uh, demo data has it successfully installed. I'm just going to clear off the notification and exit the theme options. And we'll just refresh the front end and see what's changed. All right. So as you can see, it's uh, still looking very much like a blog. Um, however, uh, it's certainly got a bit more extra content there now. Um, we just need to go through a few final steps to set up the uh, the actual home page. Um, so to begin with, to set up a different home page from one of the demo ones, we're going to go to settings and reading. And as it's set to latest post, which we don't want, we're going to change that to static page. And uh, from the drop down list here, we're going to choose home layout one. And the post page, we'll just choose blog. So let's hit save. And refresh the front end one more time. All right, we can see we've got the whole demo content ready to go. Uh, just to point out this top red banner here, uh, it's just saying that the revolution slider data has not been found. Uh, that's something we're actually going to cover in a different video, um, but it's not to, uh, it doesn't mean there's a problem with the demo data that you've imported. It's just a different set of data. The revolution slider being what it is, uh, requires a different import method, which, like I say, we will cover in another video for you, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we can see we've got all the content below as we need. Uh, the one last step, we've got a menu here uh, that just needs setting up. We also provide one with the demo. Uh, to, to actually apply that to your development site, we head to Appearance and Menus and in manage locations here you can do it all in one go so for standard navigation we'll simply set each one with the one we've provided in the demo data and for the final time if I just refresh and there we go and we can see we've got the fully working menu at the top as well um, so we pretty much can go ahead from this point on to either tweak the demo pages or build upon it whatever you want to do it's, the choice is yours uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you still have any problems, then come and see me over at support. I'll be happy to help. Uh, otherwise, I hope this video has been useful, and thanks for watching.